Good morning and welcome to this morning's reflection. And we're going to begin today by simply being quiet. Notice the noises around you. Notice the noises around you. And just let them go. And come into this place of deep stillness. Come into this place where God is with you. And God waits. And God waits for you. God opens his arms to hold you and to love you. And this morning I'm going to read to you a letter, a letter written to you by your loving Father. And this letter is based in Scripture. Allow the words to speak to you. Allow the words that come from the Word of God to touch your heart. My beloved child, I see you are anxious. And you have lost some of your trust in me and no longer really believe that I will care for you. But have I not always cared for you? Do you not remember, my child? Do you not remember the times that I have walked with you? that I have stood beside you and that I have made the way straight for you. I will not abandon you. Not now. Not ever. Do not listen to the world as it tries to tell you what your life should look like. For this will only distract you and make you discontent. Look to me. Look to me and let me lead you. This life of yours is not just about what you feel like doing. We're not following your whims here. It is about first coming to me and allowing me to embrace you, to hold you, and to make you come alive as you see the grace and kindness that floods your life because of me. Can you see it, my child? Can you see the grace and kindness of those who hold you, who walk with you? Trust me, my beloved one. Trust me. Come. Come and join me in my kingdom work for this is your calling. Take time to sing with delight and praise and thanksgiving. Let your heart swell with delight as I cover you with generous and loyal love. Allow my love to give you strength for your calling. 
as you go out to do my work, do not work alone. Always go with someone. Work as a team. And if you have no one to help you, pray for someone so that together we might find someone that will walk alongside you and help you to notice my direction in your life. This work that you are called to do is not easy, but try not to weigh yourself down with too much materially. Try to live simply and focus on your calling. Be content with your life as it is and be grateful for all that you are blessed with. Your loving Father. And now for the rest of the prayer time, Reflect on how you would respond to this letter if you were to write a reply. What might you say to your father in response? And it might be helpful if in your journal you wrote a letter of response. And so I will leave you to do that now. 